Hello everyone, and welcome to my very first video on this channel. In this video, I wanted to introduce myself and our Marinov News channel to you. Here on Marinov News, we will be sharing important headlines and news of the day. Additionally, we will be covering major sports events and offering astrological insights on a weekly and monthly basis. We will also discuss how important planetary movements affect different signs of the zodiac. If you find these topics interesting, please subscribe to our channel and leave a comment. We always appreciate hearing from our viewers. Thanks for tuning in, and have a happy and positive day. High activity detected at North Korea's nuclear site following Kim's order to expand nuclear arsenal. Satellite images obtained by a U.S.-based think tank show a high level of activity at North Korea's main nuclear site, indicating that the experimental light water reactor, ELWR, at the Yongbyon site is nearing completion and transitioning to operational status. According to the report, the recent construction has also increased Yongbyon's uranium enrichment plant capabilities. This move seems to be in line with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's directive to increase the country's fissile material production and to expand the nuclear weapons arsenal. North Korea recently unveiled new, smaller nuclear warheads, and vowed to produce weapons-grade nuclear material exponentially to expand its arsenal. South Korea and the United States warned that North Korea may resume nuclear testing at any time, as it had last conducted such tests in 2017. Housing crisis sparks thousands of protests in Portugal. Thousands of people protested in Lisbon and other cities all over Portugal on Saturday, due to increasing rents, house prices, and general living costs. Rita Silva from the Habita Housing Group said this is a social emergency, highlighting the housing crisis in Portugal. Portugal is considered one of the poorest countries in Western Europe. A study conducted by housing portal Imo Virtual showed that the average rent of a one-bedroom flat in Lisbon is around €1,350 a month. The socialist government announced a housing package aimed to end the controversial Golden Visa scheme and ban new licenses for Airbnb properties but many believe it will not ease the housing issues in the short term. Protesters called for more action to be taken. Death toll climbs to 21 as storm sweeps through southern and midwestern U.S. A severe storm with high winds and heavy rain made its way through the southern and midwestern parts of the United States, causing destruction and leaving at least 21 people dead and several others injured. Arkansas was hit the hardest, with five fatalities and many injured individuals. Illinois and Indiana also reported four and three deaths, respectively. The storm caused damage to buildings, downed trees and power lines, and flipped over vehicles. The National Weather Service issued warnings about thunderstorms crossing the eastern part of the U.S., likely resulting in power outages and downed trees. President Joe Biden spoke with officials and offered federal government support. The storm occurred a week after another deadly tornado hit Rolling Fork, Mississippi, killing 26 people and destroying many homes. Pope Francis discharged from hospital after treatment for bronchitis. Pope Francis has left Gamelli Hospital in Rome and returned to the Vatican after being treated for bronchitis. The Pope quickly responded to antibiotics and said upon his return, I'm still alive, you know? He joked about needing four days of sleep after a reporter asked how he felt. Francis is set to preside over the Palm Sunday service and other Easter events this week, though he faces a testing schedule as the Roman Catholic Church approaches the most important date in its calendar, Easter Sunday. Francis has suffered a number of ailments in recent years, including surgery on his colon in 2021. Tensions simmer as violence leaves two dead in Jerusalem and West Bank. On Saturday, Tensions rose in Jerusalem and the West Bank after a Palestinian driver rammed his car into a group of Israeli soldiers, causing injuries before being shot dead. Meanwhile, a man detained by Israeli police was shot dead after he grabbed an officer's gun and fired it near the Al-Aqsa Mosque complex in Jerusalem. The site remained relatively quiet, despite being a potential flashpoint for violence. The incident led to calls for an investigation from Arab leaders, and the police department responsible for investigating the conduct of police is currently probing the incident. Ukraine condemns Russia's presidency of UN Security Council amid war crimes accusations. 
Russia, accused of war crimes, assumed the presidency of the UN Security Council, causing outrage in Ukraine where President Volodymyr Zelensky denounced it as an absurd and destructive move. Russia's last presidency was in February 2022 when it launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Despite being largely procedural, the Kremlin plans to exercise all its rights in the role. Following an International Criminal Courts ACC, arrest warrant for President Putin and his commissioner for war crimes, Ukraine expressed disappointment with the Security Council's restructuring. In response, Zelensky called for a reform of global institutions to prevent terrorist states from destroying the peace. Italy temporarily bans OpenAI's ChatGPT chatbot over suspected breach of data collection rules. Italy's Data Protection Authority, Garanti, has temporarily banned OpenAI's ChatGPT chatbot over concerns of a suspected breach of the application's data collection rules. The AI chatbot is accused of failing to check the age of its users, who are supposed to be 13 and up, and having an absence of any legal basis that justifies the massive collection and storage of personal data. OpenAI has 20 days to respond with solutions or potentially face a significant fine. Italy is the first Western country to take action against a chatbot powered by AI. The chatbot is also unavailable in mainland China, Hong Kong, Iran and Russia and parts of Africa where residents cannot create OpenAI accounts. Caitlin Clark leads No. 2 Iowa to victory over defending champion South Carolina in women's Final Four. Caitlin Clark produced a stunning performance on Friday, scoring a women's Final Four record-breaking 41 points to help Iowa secure a 77-73 victory over defending champion South Carolina at the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. The win marks Iowa's first-ever NCAA title game appearance in program history. Meanwhile, on the other side of the bracket, number 3 seed LSU made a memorable comeback to beat number 1 seed Virginia Tech with a score of 79 to 72, securing a spot in their first national championship game. Iowa and LSU will play for the women's NCAA national championship on Sunday, April 2nd. NCAA March Madness Final 4 includes first-time teams and surprising performances. The final four teams for the NCAA men's college basketball season have been decided, featuring a diverse lineup of first-time teams and unexpected performances. This is the first time in the 44-year history of the tournament seeding that none of the top three seeded teams have made it this far. Number 9 Florida Atlantic University will face number 5 San Diego State, while number 5 Miami will play number 4 University of Connecticut. All except UConn are first-time contenders with Florida Atlantic as the Cinderella team. San Diego State and Miami surprised opponents with their excellent defense and winning streaks, while UConn is the only team with past championship titles. With no clear favorites, the Final Four promises to be a thrilling season finale. Jamara Ugelhagen takes stand against racism in AFL game following racist taunts. Jamara Ugelhagen, a star player for the Western Bulldogs in the Australian Football League, AFL, recreated Nikki Winmar's iconic anti-racism gesture in a game against the Brisbane Lions after being subjected to racist taunts during a previous match. Ugelhagen lifted his shirt and pointed to his skin after scoring a goal, and was praised by Winmar for making a stand against racism. The AFL released a statement condemning racism in the sport and in the wider community, and emphasizing their support for Ugelhagen. Manchester City keeps Premier League title hopes alive with 4-1 thrashing of Liverpool. Manchester City secured a comfortable 4-1 win against Liverpool on Saturday at the Etihad Stadium, with goals from Julian Alvarez, Kevin De Bruyne, Ilke Gundogan, and Jack Grealish. The Liverpool opened the scoreline through Mohamed Sola's 17th-minute strike, the defending champion responded with an impressive display of attacking football, keeping their Premier League title hopes alive. Meanwhile, league leaders Arsenal also dominated Leeds United 4-1 to maintain their 8-point lead at the top of the table. The crucial match between Manchester City and Arsenal on April 26 could determine the outcome of the title race. Lewis Hamilton thrilled with unexpected qualifying results for Australian Grand Prix. Seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton qualified third for the Australian Grand Prix, a welcome surprise for him and his struggling Mercedes team.
Mercedes endured a difficult season in 2022 and Red Bull appeared to be dominating this year's campaign. However, Hamilton was delighted with the unexpected result, describing it as a dream. His teammate George Russell qualified second, while world champion Max Verstappen secured pole position. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff expressed happiness with the team's performance in qualifying, despite Verstappen's dominant display. Sergio Perez, who won the Saudi Arabia GP, crashed on his first lap and will start the race at the back of the field. Daily Horoscope for April 1, 2023 Aries Be discerning, today. Is it a real problem or just a minor annoyance? If it's the former, it's time for a change. But if it's the latter, don't do anything new. Taurus Now that you've learned to help yourself, you can start helping others. It's not as hard as it looks today. And the big payback is a surprising reward. Gemini Being idle can hurt, but doing too many things can too. If the line is blurry, err on the side of inactivity today. Taking on too much responsibility right now will sink your ship. Cancer Well, you're finally out of the doldrums. It's energy, yes, but is it good energy? Don't count on your own intuition today. Use others as a mirror and the situation will be easy to discern. Leo Put it on the back burner today. And don't even think about taking out a loan. What you can't afford now is not worth pursuing, at least for the time being. Virgo. You don't need a team of advisors. You can come up with your own decisions using nothing but your intuition. Do your research the internal way, listening to your gut. The answers will be clear. Libra. It's hard to respect other people's opinions when they offer them this late in the game, but you would do well to try. Their pace may not be the one you want, but their input is still valuable. Scorpio. Some people just work better under pressure. When you're forced to dig deep, even you will be surprised by what you can pull out of your hat. Your hidden talents play a big role today. Sagittarius Listening to others bragging about their glory days can be a bit dull, but learning from their mistakes should be interesting. Are you so sure you'll never take the same missteps? Listen up. Capricorn so you used a little bit of creativity to win a contract, what's wrong with that? Following through could be trickier. You won't get off the hook anytime soon, so enlist the help of others. Aquarius Don't use personal money to keep the business afloat. Even big business has to tighten its belt when credit is maxed out. Put yourself first today, if only by protecting your assets. Pisces being a good citizen is just as important at work as it is in the rest of your life. When someone needs help, you jump in without thinking twice. You won't get the same treatment back, but your action has its own rewards. 